Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here in the booth of Mach 7 at RSNA 2025. And we have with us uh, Terry Thomas. She is uh, CEO of Mach 7. And we have Paul Jensen, he's Chief Innovation Officer, and also Dr. Elliot Siegel. Everybody, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Thank Brian. You. Good to be here. Yeah, great to be here. So, uh, Terry, you joined Mach 7 earlier this year and you've implemented a lot of changes. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and uh, tell us kind of what you've been doing here at Mach 7? Absolutely. I started as CEO on July 1st and we have been moving and shaking, doing some amazing things. We've overhauled how the customer part of our business engages with our customers in this whole new concept of the flight crew in which they actually are assigned to our customers, get to know our customers, get to know our customers' names and their pets' names and really provide a level of service beyond anything that Mach 7 has done before, but I think beyond what you see in our industry. So that was one of the first things, but what I'm really excited about is we're debuting the Mach 7 Flamingo architecture. We got oh, these awesome. The super little, cute. Cute little squishies. And the idea that we can provide software that is balanced, that is really taking flight, and being able to help our customers achieve things that they can't do with anyone else. And doing that, I've hired a new chief innovation officer. His name is Paul Jensen, and he's driving a lot of this, and a lot of it's inspired by one of our board members, Dr. Elliot Siegel. Awesome. Uh, Paul, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. Uh, yeah, I've been with Mach 7 now for about four months, so I'm fairly new um, as we're kind of rethinking and rebooting our innovative approach. Uh, but I've got about 25 years experience before that um, in just regular IT, about 20 years at Microsoft. And then I was uh, integral in like rebooting another technology company in the healthcare imaging space. And uh, yeah, really excited to be here. Awesome. Now, uh, Terry, Mach 7 specializes in uh, enterprise imaging software, things like viewers and VNA. What yes. are some of the, the things that you're highlighting here at RSNA? Well, first of all, one of the things we're doing, and I think we're the first in the industry to do this, is to provide an integrated experience that goes all the way from a really strong world-class vendor-neutral archive that's truly vendor-neutral through to the imaging experience zero footprint footprint viewer, but with agentic AI in the middle. That's one of the, the most amazing things for us, and I really want people to come by our booth to be able to see the Flamingo architecture. Also, even integrating digital pathology and advanced visualization. Those are a couple of the innovations that Mach 7 is presenting here at RSNA. Awesome. Now, Elliot, you need no introduction. Everybody knows who you are. <laughs> um, but, but you've been working with Mach 7 on a project. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So. Um as you know, I created the world's first uh, digital radiology uh, department back about 35 uh, years ago or so. And uh, one of the things that has always struck me is some of the challenges associated with getting access to images. And that's gotten so much more complex as we're moving toward the cloud and as we're using AI. And so what's really exciting is the potential to be able to, for the first time, apply AI to trying to determine how to optimize where any image is stored and available. So as you know, there are multiple different tiers of storage and different um, levels of cost associated with those and different levels of performance. If we had a crystal ball to determine um, who was going to access an image in advance, we'd know just where to put it so that we could store it as um, cost effectively and as, uh, in as high a performance um, means as possible. And so being able to apply 2025 technology to this age-old question of prefetching images and having images available, most of the inferencing for AI takes place in the cloud right now. And so sending images from the hospital system up to the cloud um, and up to those AI systems is relatively inefficient in comparison to storing images in the cloud. And I just think that we're at the nexus in 2025 of having more and more facilities move their images to the cloud. And as they do that, I think AI predictively in a really smart way, being able to determine where those are, how to optimize who gets the images and when and uh, orchestrating between different AI systems, I think is a really exciting development. And so uh, I'm looking forward to working on that. Awesome, that sounds like a fascinating application of it. 
Uh, Terry, any other, any other highlights here at Mach 7 and what can we look forward to uh, from the company in 2026? You know, I started with, we reorganized how we work with our customers and that follows through everything that we are doing in our future with Mach 7. So engaging innovatively with our customers in which they drive what we do, anchoring an ROI, solving real problems like what Dr. Siegel was just referencing. You can see us at the AWS booth as well as we talk about that intelligent migration to the cloud. Everything we do is with our focus on our customers. Awesome, well very good. Terry Thomas, Paul Jensen, and uh, Dr. Elliot Siegel, thanks so so much for being with us. Thank you. Absolute Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Brian. Signing off from RSNA 2025, my name is Brian Casey of the Imaging Wire. <laughs>